drop-off right now I'm gonna take Alex to school we've been hanging out downstairs for a little while just like watching TV drinking my coffee the boys having their breakfast today's video is going to be a day in the life slash life update I'm going to be updating you guys on what's been going on it's been a crazy few weeks I want to say crazy few months so I'm going to be vlogging and then as I go, I'm going to just update you guys. I've been wanting to make this video for a while, but it's kind of hard <laughs> with the kids to do like a sit down video. So I figured I would just do like a vlog style life update. So hopefully you guys like the style of video. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Allie and I'm an Orlando based flight attendant and I vlog about my life as a mom, as a flight attendant. I sprinkle a little bit of lifestyle, a little bit of everything. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And also make sure to follow me over on social media, TikTok, Instagram, threads. I tend to be active there and update you guys there when I'm not here on YouTube. So make sure you're following me. And right now I'm just doing a little bit of skincare. I'm using these Vita C toner pads that I got on Amazon. They're really good. Then I'm gonna go in with the Avene Thermal Water. I got this in Spain. You can find it in the US, I think, but it's a lot cheaper in Spain. I'm going to finish my skincare and then I'm going to go drop off Alex at school. Luca is home with me today. He's going to be home for the next few days. He's been a little sick. He's feeling a little bit better, but I want to make sure that he's fully recovered before he goes back to school just in case. I don't want him to, you know, get the other kids sick, but it's normal with the back to school germs and all that. So everybody was sick for a little bit. Even I've been sick. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been sharing what has been going on with my health. I have not been feeling my best lately. And it could be some sort of deficiency that I have, like B12, vitamin D, iron. It could be so many different things and I would not be surprised if it's iron, like anemia, because I have had that my whole entire life pretty much. And it got really bad this week. I actually had to go to the doctor though. So I'll anyway, I'll update you guys on all of that later, but I just put some sunscreen on. This is the Isdeen Photo Protector Fusion Water Magic. I got this in Spain. It's probably one of my favorite SPFs ever. <laughs> I'm gonna put on a hat because today's hair washing day and it's just disgusting right now. But all right, let's go to school drop off. Okay, so just dropped off Alex at school. Now I'm gonna take the two little ones to a playground to burn Mommy. off some energy. Yes. Okay, you want me to open your seatbelt? Yes? Okay. All right, so we're, I'm gonna let them run around for a little bit before it gets like really hot. It's 9 a.m. so the park is empty too, so that, that helps. Okay, so we just left the park and we're stopping by Smoothie King to grab something to drink. Leaving the park was a struggle. One of them threw the biggest tantrum because it was time to leave, but it was getting hot and I'm not feeling my best. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know I've been a, a little lightheaded for over a week. So I just couldn't be out in the heat for that long, but I'm getting a smoothie right now and then we're on our way to Costco because we need to grab a few toiletries. I need to make a return. I'll show you guys what we get from Costco, hopefully. I'm also drinking tons of water. Thank you. And thank you. Have a good one. Okay. There's no one behind me. Here's the smoothie, Leo. I want pizza. I want pizza, please. De nada, Leo. You want pizza? Okay, we'll grab pizza at Costco. This is really good. I got the mango kale. Normally I add protein to it, but I forgot to add protein right now. But I did add like a multivitamin just to kind of help me. Anyway, let's go to Costco. Okay, so we're home. This is what we got. We got a bunch of snacks. Not this, this is ours already. But we got a few snacks for the boys and some fruit, because that's really what we went for, for fruit. I found some pajamas for Luca. Found the poppy drinks, which I was really excited about because these are expensive and I was glad that they had them in like a big box. Got some salmon for the week. These are a must every time we go to Costco. The boys already know that this is what we're gonna get. Some chicken nuggets. 
and then fruit. Leo really likes these yogurts. And then, of course, more snacks. Some of these for George. These for the boys, they really like them. Some pineapple. And then these crispy uh, birria tacos are delicious. They're so good. You put them in the air fryer and they're so good. Let me show you what they look like. This is what they look like. They don't come with that or anything, but they're really good if you dip them in sour cream. But yeah, now I'm just going to put all of this away and then I'm gonna go pick up Alex from school. It's already time to pick him up. It's crazy, this day just flew by. I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, so I just got out of the shower. I finally got to wash my hair. My hair was in desperate need of washing. Boys are downstairs with George, so I don't have to worry about them, but I'm excited because I actually got a new hair dryer in the mail, and it is the Tymo Air Hype Light. I have heard about this blow dryer on TikTok, and I've heard amazing things, so I'm really excited to partner up with them and try it out. So thank you to Tymo for sponsoring a portion of this video. It has the same benefits as like a high-end blow dryer that's like over $400 but for a lot less. It's also very lightweight, which makes it very easy to travel with. It's got powerful airspeed, and it pretty much cuts your hair drying time in half while reducing frizz, which I can appreciate because I have very frizzy hair, and I live in Orlando, I live in Florida, which is very humid, so I can definitely appreciate that. Another thing that's very important to me is that it reduces heat damage. I have very thin hair, so I can appreciate that and I try to really take care of my hair and make sure that I don't apply a lot of heat. I only do this once a week, so maybe twice a week sometimes. So the less heat damage we can do to our hair, the better. Because it just maintains the overall health of your hair. So I plugged it in and I'm going to turn this on. Okay, so hair is dry. I added some nourishing oil from Tymo to my ends just because I want to make sure that my ends stay hydrated and nourished. So I actually really liked this blow dryer. I loved how lightweight it was. I didn't feel like it was so heavy, especially right now that I'm not feeling my best. I highly recommend it. I think it would be a good gift for someone that is looking for a new hair dryer and you don't have to break the bank. Mine came with this attachment right here. You can also get other attachments for it as well. So I'm really happy with it and I'm really glad that I got to try them out. So thank you once again to Timo for sponsoring this portion of the video. I'm going to leave any links, any information on how to get this product in the description box down below. So make sure to check them out. Now I'm gonna go downstairs and hang out with the family. I'm so glad I was able to do this. I needed to desperately wash my hair, blow dry it, style it and all that. So I feel so much better. I wanted to do a live update but I didn't get a chance to doing that today because it was a busy day, so I'm going to get around to doing it tomorrow. So I will either talk to you guys later tonight or tomorrow. So it's the next day and I'm getting ready for the day. I want to get out of this funk that I've been in for the last few weeks and kind of feel like myself. So I'm going to get ready. The kids are running around, so if you hear them, just don't mind them they're being kids but i wanted to catch you guys up on what's been going on the last few months the last few months i feel like i have been very like all over the place on social media with my posting and it's because i have had a rough few months um as far as like my mental health everything at home is great it's fine and that's what makes the way that i've been feeling hard to deal with because if you understand depression um it it's hard because you look around and you see that everything is fine and you can't understand why you're so sad so i have healthy kids i have a great husband i have you know the opportunity to stay home with my kids and work when i can as a flight attendant and it I have the life that I wanted when I was 15 years old, which was the family that I have right now. And it just with depression, like you feel so ungrateful and you feel like just like a jerk for feeling that way. And I've always been open about my depression. I think especially when I went through postpartum depression, I feel like it all started in May. Like May is when things started to get hard for me. Um, I found myself very anxious, very overwhelmed, and then I took on too much for myself because 
I felt like I needed to and I ended up taking another job. You guys saw that I started working for a marketing agency that does like really big events for big brands um and i started doing their social media and running their social media and it was a busy month for me because i was traveling to spain i was flying i was doing you know like social media stuff and then also i took on that agency and it became very very overwhelming to the point that i would have like panic attacks i remember i was in spain and like having panic attacks because i had so much to do and i couldn't enjoy time with my family and I felt like I was letting everybody down and no matter what I did, I was letting somebody down. So I ended up um, quitting the agency and I am not someone that likes to quit things because I love to be busy. I love to have stuff to do. Like that's just me. I'm a busybody. But I couldn't take it anymore. Like I couldn't take it. I couldn't take what it was doing to me. So I had to sit down with George and he said, something has to go. You have to look at what you have to do and figure out what needs to go. So I didn't want to let go of this, obviously. Like I've been doing this for years. This is what I love to do. Like it's my creative outlet. I enjoy it. So obviously no. My flight attendant job, absolutely not. I wasn't going to let that go. So the agency was the next thing that needed to go so I quit so that is why this video is called I quit so after I quit the agency I had this like huge weight lifted off my shoulders I felt like I could relax I could spend time with the kids again however a few weeks later I started to feel very guilty because I okay I'm gonna get very vulnerable and this might be confusing to some of you if you've never been through this so I just ask that you are kind before i had alex when i first married george i did not want to be a stay-at-home mom be a housewife like i wanted to always work like that was my thing i always always wanted to work i remember having these talks with george like i just don't see myself being a stay-at-home mom not gonna happen okay i'm back sorry i had to go check on the kids because they were being a little too quiet but they're just reading and listening to their tony box so all is good but anyway like i was saying when i didn't want to be a stay-at-home mom i always wanted to work and then i had alex then i became a mom and then at that point george and i were in a situation where i had to work he was getting out of the military we were trying to figure out our next move so we definitely needed to have two incomes so i went back to work after having alex i was working at a bank and i would feel guilty every single time i would go to work because I needed to be home with my son and I wasn't. Felt like I was missing out on all these milestones and it didn't help that other people were making those comments. Like people, you know, around you, like it could be either a customer at the bank, it could be a coworker, it could be a family member, a friend, whatever. And at the time I wasn't even on social media. So that, I can't imagine how it would have been. I struggled with being back to work and all I wanted to do was be a stay-at-home mom. Like, I just wanted to quit my job and be home with my kid and just raise him and be better. But, like I said, at the time we needed me to work because of the transition and the season of life that we were in. Fast forward, I become a flight attendant. I have, you know, two more kids and I stop flying, right? Like, I don't fly as much as I did when I first started my YouTube channel and all that. So I really struggled with finding my place, not only on YouTube, because when I became a, a mom, like a second time mom to Luca, and I started incorporating like mommy content and sharing more about my life that wasn't flight attendant related, I saw my channel take a huge dive. Really seeing how much people liked the flight attendant content and I would get like really mean comments telling me that I needed to focus on being a flight attendant. Nobody cared about my home life. Nobody cared about the lifestyle videos, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, that kind of affected me in a way because I couldn't find my, my place on YouTube. And I also didn't fit in with the mommy community because I didn't fit a certain aesthetic. I didn't look a certain way and my personality just was different. I wasn't like a lot of the mommy creators. So, 
I struggled to find a place there. But then I also found myself being eager to get back to work, like I needed to go back to work and be myself and feel like myself again and, you know, be the career woman that I always wanted to be. So I went back to work and I felt guilty for going back to work. And so I'm telling you all this because I struggle with finding my place. Like when I'm when I'm working, I love working, but I also really, really miss my kids and I really, really want to be home with them. And I feel really guilty for working, for leaving them, you know? Right now I am in a season of life where being home with my kids is the priority. So if I have to stop flying and put my career on hold to be there for the kids, I'm going to do it. I struggle with finding my place. I've struggled with the transition of being a stay-at-home mom and being like on top of everything. And I've struggled, I've struggled, I've struggled. Let's take a drink for every time I say I've struggled. So I'm telling you all this because I'm in this, right now I'm going through the transition of pretty much becoming a stay-at-home mom and this is what I've wanted, right? Like this is what I have wanted. This is what I, what George and I have worked for. We worked really hard for me to be able to be home with the kids and all that. Um, but it's been a really hard transition because I feel like I put a lot of pressure on myself to, you know, take the boys out, um, to do activities with them. And I don't know, I just put a lot of pressure on myself and I've, I have found the transition from working a lot and you know and leaving on trips to now being you know home with the kids more and George works a lot like George works hard <laughs> to provide and I'm so grateful and so happy that he is a very hard working man like I said I have struggled with that and so I feel also like I'm letting a lot of you guys down I find myself getting a lot of cre creators block because I second guess everything that I'm going to put online. So that's one of the reasons why I haven't really been consistent with posting because I have found myself just having a lot of creativity doubts. Like I wonder, does anybody even want to watch this? Like people don't care unless it's like flood attendant stuff. And I know that a lot of you actually do want to watch the flood attendant stuff. Um, I've seen people say nobody cares. Like about your morning routine. I don't want to see you waking up. I don't want to see you working out. Like, I don't want to see that. I want to see the flight attendant stuff. But I'm in a different season of life right now. I'm in a season where I am home with my kids and that is my priority right now. And I want to thank those of you that have been very understanding and supportive during this time. Like you, some of you guys have been here through all the changes and like that I've had in my life since I started this channel. And it's so crazy to me that you guys have seen so many changes because that's what life is like life changes you go through different seasons in life like when i first started my channel i only had one kid george and i would travel all the time with him or without him like we would take him to guatemala with his grandparents and george and i would go to like italy or something and it was a different time and i was able to post all this flight attendant content and a lot of you liked it and a lot of you have been here ever since. Then I had Luca and then I had Leo. So now the more kids I've had, the less I fly. Thank you to those of you that have been very understanding and that have been kind and you know, just know that life changes whether you decide to keep watching the videos or not. Like I, I get it. You know, some of you guys are here for the flight attendant content. Some of you guys are here for me, some of you guys are here for whatever reason you're here and I appreciate every single one of you and I want to keep posting. I want to continue this. Like I don't want to stop doing this because it, it honestly truly brings me joy. So that's pretty much my little life update. Uh, I just wanted to tell you where my head is, what I've been going through the last few months. I am going to be taking some time off from my flight attendant job. I took all of September off because uh, the company was offering time off. So I decided why not take it? That way I don't have to worry about dropping trips and all that. So that's good. And I can just focus on, you know, what I need to focus on, which is the boys. And then also I can dedicate more time to making videos too and like editing. So let me know what you guys want to see. If I can also, I mean, I can still make flight attendant content, just I'm not going to be flying 
obviously so I can't show myself you know like a hotel or bringing you guys along my layovers but I can I can make sit down content like flight attendant content like I used to in the beginning which was me showing how to become a flight attendant or how to do your makeup for a flight attendant interview or flight attendant Q&A's like flight attendant tips, tricks, all that. Let me know if you guys want to see that. I can definitely start a series on that. And actually, I think that would be a very good idea because people are still trying to become flight attendants. People are still interested in the lifestyle and all that. So thank you guys for letting me vent. And if you've made it this far, please let me know something that is going on in your life, something you're looking forward to. That way I know you made it this far and I can comment back and um, appreciate you and acknowledge you. So I know this video is probably really long and probably all over the place and very chatty. Thank you for sticking around and I hope you guys stick around now that I'm going to be making a little bit more lifestyle content and just like daily vlogs and stuff like that. We'll, we'll see, we'll get creative, we'll figure it out and we'll make it work. So I'm going to end this video here. I'm gonna take the kids to the park because Luca was saying playground, playground, playground. So we're going to go to the, the park in this heat. We're gonna brave this heat and we'll be okay. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time here and I'll see you guys over in my next video. Bye guys.